All right, guys, so in the last video, you know, I gave you a pretty much a basic intro to the uh, Crystal Sky. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to a little bit more in-depth of the actual usage of it and everything. I went ahead and loaded some actual uh, videos I'd recorded off my Inspire 2 straight from the video card. This is a RAW 4Ks, not, not SSD, but just micro SD. So if I play one, this is the actual footage that I took off of it plays it fine you can fast forward through it fine you can back up fine everything so it plays the actual footage great no lag no nothing but uh what i did a little bit ago is i left some uh, footage on the actual sd card that's still on the craft so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go right here and i'm gonna go to the gallery i'm gonna play this and it actually recorded the sound to this so what you hear was sound was recorded from the device So that's that's pretty good you know it'll record the sound there and everything but uh i'll back out now and go into the money some other stuff these are screenshots you can take i was just playing around with it when i was flying it got an error large wind velocity fly with caution that was earlier i just took a screenshot of that uh a map i took a screenshot of all right, go back to the main menu. Like I said, I already have my Inspire 2 connected, so I'm going to go to the DJI Go app 4. Everything here is pretty much straightforward. Like I said, you know, as iOS or Android based. So go fly. Brings up your typical screen. Pretty much everything works as normal. I am sitting pretty close to it, so it is going to get a little garbled. But going into your settings, everything like I said is the same as it is in the normal apps. All your settings are the same. Like I said, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same layout. I am getting the update even though my craft is up to date. So I just hit ignore on that. I'll, I'll check on that later. Uh, and there is a web browser. You can actually go to websites on this. Works just like a regular web browser. You have a downloads for what you could download. It won't let you install anything yet. Of course, your settings, which is all the same. Again, like I said, I wanted to go into this to let you see how everything works. Uh, but like I said, it's pretty much basically the same as the thing. Uh, does have built-in GPS. Update, you just click on update and check for updates. There is no update, of course, so. You have your uh, quick settings, HDMI on and off, SRA, which will enhance certain parts of the screens, as you can tell. You probably can't see it in the video, but it does enhance certain colors of the screen, stuff like that. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's like, like I said, it's laid out similar as the regular uh, apps we're used to using now. Again, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see anything else, leave it in the comments, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can.